Saudara Amerika Serikat menghormati pandangan Indonesia soal konflik Israel Hamas yang mengorbankan ribuan warga sipil dan akan terus menjadi donor bagi aksi kemanusiaan di Palestina. Berikut pernyataan Duta Besar Amerika Serikat untuk Indonesia, Sung Yong Kim, saat berdialog dengan jurnalis Kompas TV, Friska Clarissa, beberapa waktu lalu. According to this global stability challenges, Indonesia through the OIC and in front of the United Nations um, urge the realization of an immediate ceasefire in Gaza to stop more civilians' casualties. And recently, President Joko Widodo emphasized that Indonesia is extremely angry and strongly condemns Israel's random attacks against civilians and civilians' facilities in Gaza. Due to the humanitarian issues and rights, mm. how does the U.S. see this, and what will be the solution to bring back peace, to stop the war, and save the innocent civilians? Yeah. First of all, let me say we're deeply concerned about the humanitarian crisis in Gaza. Yeah. President Biden, Secretary Blinken, and others have spoken about this uh, in great detail. Deeply concerned about the well-being of the Palestinian people. And this is why we're working so hard with Israel, with Egypt, with relevant UN agencies and other partners mm -hmm. to try to facilitate a sustainable uh, flow of uh, humanitarian assistance to the Palestinian people in need in Gaza. And that effort will continue. I should note that I mean, the U.S. has long been the largest donor to the Palestinian people, and that will continue as well. That said, I, mean, I think we can agree that um, terrorism is unacceptable uh, and we should condemn terrorism when it happens. Um, in regards to any type of pause, I would refer you to what President Biden said just recently about uh, the importance of thinking about humanitarian pauses uh, mm -hmm. to allow for the flow of humanitarian assistance. So it will be possible to do well, I, mean, I think we're, we're going to do everything possible uh, to help uh, the Palestinian people in Gaza uh, to make sure that they receive the humanitarian assistance they need and that the humanitarian assistance that we're sending is not diverted uh, to Hamas. And so it's a complicated situation, as you know. So we'll have to work very closely with, uh, with our partners there, including Egypt, uh, Israel, and UN agencies to make sure that uh, the assistance is going to the people who need it. So still the priority is for the civilians uh, in Gaza? Yes, absolutely. Yes. You know that Indonesia's government stands with Palestine alongside with the support uh, from Indonesian people through several rallies and mm. demonstrations in Indonesia. As the U.S. ambassador, how would you explain this situation to the President of the United States? So, uh, I think one of the great things about Indonesia is that it's a democracy. People have a right to speak their concerns. Uh, people have a right to gather and hold protests. So my office actually overlooks the area where they have been holding protests, and I've been um, uh, impressed by just how orderly and peaceful these demonstrations have been. Uh, and I uh, appreciate cooperation that we're getting from the Indonesian law enforcement agencies here. But, you know, people have a right to speak and share their concerns publicly, and, and I respect their right.